to another tutorial. Today we will be talking how to configure the SMB client for your next cloud through NAS plugin. So a lot of you have been asking me questions about how you can do this on your next cloud since you're using the true NAS plugin. I'm going to show you guys how we can accomplish this today. So this video only applies to those of you who have installed Nextcloud using the TrueNAS Nextcloud plugin. So without wasting any more time, we're going to go straight into the video. So you want to start by logging in to your Nextcloud as administrator. And once you log in, you want to go into the apps and you want to look for the app called external storage support. So once you find the external storage support application, you want to enable or download and enable this application. Once you have that enabled, the next thing we're going to do is head over to administrative settings. And on the left side, we're going to see a new option added for external storage. So once you select that option, you can see that we have an error here that says that we need the SMB client to be installed before we can mount SMB shares on this Nextcloud plugin. So in order for us to do this, we're going to head over to our TrueNAS server and you want to locate your Nextcloud jail. So open up the jail and you want to select the shell option. So this is going to take you into your TrueNAS Nextcloud plugin shell. And once you get in there, there's two steps. The first thing we need to do is make some changes into the freebsd.com file. Normally, TrueNAS has the freebsd packages disabled for the jails. So we're going to go in there and activate this or enable the freebsd repos so we can use this and install external packages that right now our jail is preventing us from installing. So in order for you to be able to do this, you're gonna have to use the VI text editor because that's the only text editor that is available with the TrueNAS jails. So you wanna use VI and you wanna navigate to user slash local slash Etsy slash PKG slash repos and then we're going to be opening the file called freebsd.conf. So once you're in here, if you notice, yours is going to have enable to no. So you want to change that from no to a yes. So if you're using VI, in order for you to make changes to this file, you're going to press I on your keyboard, which stands for insert. And then you're going to go over to where you have no and you type or you backspace on that or erase the no and then type in yes. And once you're done typing in yes, you're gonna use the shift button and you're going to do um, the double dots and you wanna press W and Q, which stands for save. So you're gonna write and quit. That's what it stands for. If you want to learn more about using a VI text editor, you can do some research online on Google and get more information. But all you need to do is change that option in there from a no to a yes. And once that's done, the next thing we're going to do is run the actual command to be able to install our PHP SMB client for FreeBSD. So the command we're going to run today is pkg install php 80-pecl and then another dash and smb client so once you type this command you're going to press enter and run this command if you get an error what you need to do is make sure that the php version you're running matches the php version we're doing on the command because as of right now that command states we're trying to install php 8.0 so in order for you to know your php version you're only just going to run the command php-v 
As you can see here, as of today, my Nextcloud plugin for TrueNAS is using the PHP 8.0. So if you have 8.1 in there or 7.9, you're going to have to change this command and replace the 8.0 with the 8.1 or 7.9. And once you do that, you're going to press enter and follow the prompts to install the packages. So normally, you're just going to hit yes and yes until this completes. Once that's complete, that's all we need to do in the command line. So we're going to press exit or type exit. So now we're going to head over back to our next cloud. And if we refresh the page, we can now see that that error is gone. So if we go now to the external storage types, we can select SMB. And now we can put in our information and configure our SMB shares in Nextcloud. If you like to learn how to mount SMB shares on your next cloud, please watch our other videos on how to configure SMB shares or mount SMB shares on your next cloud installation. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, please leave it down in the comment section below. And do not forget, we now have a Geek Together Hub community where you can ask questions, search for already asked questions and also chat with our moderators and get help as soon as possible. Thank you guys and have a great day.